So anyone that's used ISOGEN to generate ISO, especially from CAD works, you've noticed a weird letter or a number at the end of the ISO and just did not look right and you had to go in there and change it. Well, I'm going to go into ISOGEN and show you how to change that. So some of you noticed that on the video we did over stop size and start size and CAD works and how they communicate with Isogen, um, the l Isogen sheet number was a blank on sheet one and A on sheet two. So I decided to go ahead and do another video over how to change that in Isogen. Um, so first things you need to do is actually go into iConfigure. Now, iConfigure has been out for many, many years. Uh, I know a lot of you used to use the old text editor and do all that. I don't remember how to do that anymore. So let's just get into iConfigure and I'll show you how to do that. So we're inside of iConfigure. And so we're going to click on our style right here and we're going to hit edit. I'm going to wait that, for that to come up. Uh, it's usually pretty fast. And we're going to bring this over. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger if it wants to behave here. Okay, we're going to make that a little bit bigger. Okay, and we want to go to uh, Drawing File. So we're going to click on that one. And then we're going to put click fourth tab down, which is Output File. And we're going to these two boxes here. Okay, so a pin standard extension. Um, we're going to hit yes, and we're going to use style 101. Okay, so what that's going to do, especially this one right here, is sheet 1 is going to be IO1. Sheet 2 is going to be IO2, and so on and so forth. The second one uh, is the first one we actually checked. What it's going to do is actually put .dwg at the end of the IO1. Older versions of uh, Isogen would put the IO1, but it wouldn't put the .dwg, and you had to go back in there and fix it. So they've added that feature in there, I don't know how many moons ago. So we're going to hit OK, and we're going to hit Save down here. Let that save. and we're going to hit exit now depending on your style and your setup and how you have everything configured what you're going to have to do is uh, export your style so you're going to export your style out uh, to uh, the wherever your style is located and that'll, that'll generate all your text files your dwg and, or not your dwg your um, OPL file, your MDL file, all those old uh, text files, Isogen still uses those. So we're going to hit OK. And we're going to go back to uh, CADWorks. So now we're back into CADWorks. What we're going to do is we're going to drop this one, IGB. OK. Uh, I, that's Isogen batch. And we're going to do 480. So it created two new ISOs and I've already opened them up in AutoCAD here and you can see that we have uh, our sheet one is IO1 and our sheet two is IO2. So that helps you go ahead and know which one is sheet one and which one is sheet two. Uh, you can run a batch on the back side of it uh, to change the name from IO uh, or I, you know, from dot I to sheet whatever, and you've already got the one, the two, and the three, depending on how many sheets you have on an ISO, and you can go ahead and automate that process using iConfigure to run a batch at the back end of the process after it runs the ISOs. So I hope that helps. I hope uh, that shed some light on. 
you being able to get your sheet number into your ISOs as they drop out of Isogen. Please let me know what you think of the videos. Uh, if you have any suggestions for us to cover, uh, please let me know. I don't care if it's CAD Works or uh, AutoCAD, just plain Jane AutoCAD or Isogen or Navis Works. I'll cover it. Uh, the videos, suggestions that you guys give me make it a little easier for me to come up with stuff. Um, so please uh, like, share, subscribe, and until next time.